Hi, this is George GI4SJQ, and welcome to this video on the ICOM ICM 5062D, an ICOM current model FM stroke digital radio, if you fit the digital board. This one doesn't have a digital board, and this one's VHF, and it's been converted for amateur use. I'm going to describe the features and functions that I've built into the programming of this radio. Let's turn it on. As you can see, I've programmed it to come up and tell you the voltage, and then it announces that it's 2 meters FM, and it defaults to S20 V40, which is the calling channel on Simplex on 2 meters. We have the microphone connector here. We have the volume control over here. We have P0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Obviously the blue button here is the power button. And then we have the up-down channel change buttons. So what do each of these buttons do? If I press P0, it steps me through the power output settings. So you can see the little annunci annunciator here displaying low and then it goes off if I press it again. So high power, which is between 25 and 30 watts. Low drops it down to um, 10 to 15 watts. And low 2 drops it to uh, about 5 watts. Put it back in high power. P1 allows us to change our CTCSS tone. This is for transmit only. And it means if we're in a different area, and we need to change CTCSS tone for a repeater, we can do that as long as we know it. So press P1 and you come up with your C-tone memory and then you use the up down arrow keys to select whichever tone is relevant. There are nine tones used in the UK. Uh, in GI here we're on tone 7, 110.9 Hz. You would then press P1 again and that's your tone set. And you can see if I now go to V41 and press, it holds it across the channels. So all repeaters would then be held on that. The radio does have the CTCSS tones pre-programmed uh, on the repeaters that are in GI at the moment. P2, I'll change channel first. P2 is your priority one channel, which is S20, V40 press it, you go back to S20. P3. P3 allows you to select your zone. There are multiple zones programmed. We've got simplex, repeaters, Rennet frequencies on 144 MHz, marine frequencies on receive only, the UK PMR frequencies, and back to simplex. You simply select which zone you want, Press P3 again, and you're now in that zone. And you can step through the repeaters. You can see I have programmed some of the repeater call signs in along with their channel number. These are 144 frequencies, not only used by Renet, but uh, if you wanted to scan just those, you could. Marine is channel numbers. Note on Marine, it will, when I press transmit, it will not transmit. If I go to UK, sim, uh, UK PMR for the simple UK license, it does transmit, provided you have a license. I do actually have a license. I can transmit on those frequencies. And back to simplex again. Finally, scanning. How is scanning accomplished? Well, there's two functions on P4, which is the scanning button. There's a short press, which initiates a scan, and we get a little line in under here, indicating we're scanning. And then there's scanning 
the particular zone. You need to pick the zone. So press P4 and hold it. You get a double beep. You can now pick your zone. We've got scan all 2 meter zones. Scan marine. Scan UK simplex. PMR. Below that we've scan Renet, scan repeater, scan simplex. I tend to leave this on scan all 2 meter zones. Press once to get out. Press once. I've now initiated a scan across the whole of the 2 meter zones that I have programmed. It will just sit there until it detects a signal and once it's detected a signal it will display the frequency and the channel number. And then once the signal disappears after about 5 seconds it will go back to scanning again. Let's see if we can uh, raise some uh, signals. So press P4 to exit scanning. Press P3 and let's go up to the repeaters and let's see if the GB3NI repeater is on. This is GI4SJQ checking audio. No, it's not on. CP should be available. This is GI4SJQ listening. Oh, maybe I've got the volume down. This is GI4SJQ listening. So there you go, I had set, I, that proves a point. I had set the wrong CTCSS tone. It's actually 8 for 110.9 hertz. A 4SJQ listening. There's GD on R1 or RV50. This is GI4SJQ listening. Not just a strong signal. And CP down in Inniskillen. This is GI4SJQ listening. The other thing to note is this has got a built in speaker which is forward facing. It chucks loads of audio out. Look how low I have the volume turned down. If I want to scan the repeaters, I press and hold. I find my repeater, my repeater zone and I'm now scanning all the repeaters. If a repeater becomes active it will stop. Pause for about 5 seconds before continuing again. Here's the example. It's got a good heavy duty heatsink. There is no fan. There is no mounting bracket for it. I've never used it in a car, so I don't have a mounting bracket. It's got four rubber feet on it. It does not come with this. This is a little Motorola stand that I'm used using MI for demonstrations. And as you can see, as well as scanning on the repeaters, it scans the priority channel at the same time. So if somebody does come up an S20, you're going to get it. So, there you go. The ICOM ICM 5062D converted for 2 meter ham radio use. This is George GI4SJQ. Hope you enjoyed the video.